Welcome everybody, I'm Lucas Seeley and welcome to Ask a Black Guy. We will be asking my friend Kev on stage, Kevin Federicks, questions about being black. <laughs> Did you call him Kevin FedEx? FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Big Irish J today. Let the questions begin. <laughs> yes. So weird. <laughs> okay, Kevin. I know some things. <laughs> and I was wondering. Okay. What is some of the literature, literature, literature books that you like to read? Uh, do you think there's a certain genre that black people tend to read more mm -hmm. than others? Well, I answer for black people, and, and then I'll answer for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bible, Bible's up there. I've read the Bible front to back. I'm actually reading the Bible. It's this book called The Story, which is the Bible written in novel form, which is fairly interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't think I can speak to. I mean, there's just so many different types of people out there. I think, um, like in other things, I think your socioeconomic background has more to do with the books you read than your color. You know what I mean? College educated people are gonna read different books than non. There's a whole um, book on like. Thug, thug love relationships. I did a video on it. What? Like, yes, there's a video, a book seriously called Honor Thy Thug. It's called Thug Passion. And the lady's a New York Times bestseller. Oh, that, that book, is crazy. Honor Thy Thug. Honor Thy Thug. Honor Thy Thug. My wife, she loves to read books about relationships and communication because that's her interest. My favorite types of books to read are autobiographies, biographies. And history books. So, like, one of my favorite things is is history of war. Like, I'm mm. super fascinated with World War II and Vietnam. Those are probably my two favorite ones to study. Have you read The Art of War? So no, I haven't. You should check that out. Yeah, I will. I will read that. And um, I do like communication books and stuff, but not as much as my wife. But I read like the SEAL Team Six biography, the, or the, the story about the guy who you know they killed Osama. Mm -hmm. I read his book uh, last year, which was fairly interesting. Um, Help Me For My Pillow is on my bucket list. It's about the World War II um, Pacific Theater, um, which was really interesting to me. So, yes. I wish I read more. You should read, Jack. I'm like all those, when you're like, I like autobiographies. I'm like, yeah, I love those movies. <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorite kinds of movies. <laughs> like if I saw, like when I saw Ray Charles movie, I went and got his book. You know what I mean? Um, stuff like Dude, that. Dude, I swear. Every movie I see that's like an autobiography or based on a true story, as soon as the movie's over, I go home and I'm like, hmm, Google, how, uh, how true is it? Is it really? I do that. And the Kathy Phillips really was one that was oh, like, so Hollywood fine. My, Melissa did the same thing. And it turns out like he had pretty much almost everything to do with the way things went down. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he stayed close to the coast when they told him not to. You know, he did all this type of stuff. And his, his crew didn't really like him. No. Yeah. And they had more to do with the things going right than the movie show. Have you seen so. Lone Survivor? Yeah. That's an amazing... All right, sorry. Got a little sidetracked. All right, uh, Kev, how how do you feel about the new uh, The White Man March? Oh, my God. <laughs> And, when, and dude, why do they put it right next to St. Patty's Day? Don't <laughs> lump those dummies in with our, our, our Irish Day. You know, Jay, here's the thing. Um, it's, it's like when people say, oh, you got BET, what we can't have, yeah. WET. That is television. Yeah. Have you not watched TV? Yeah. Everything is white entertainment television. Yeah. You know, the reality shows, if there was no BET, I don't, you know what I mean? And it's not, I'm not only. Black. I mean, you guys had a show before, white. though. You guys had cops. <laughs> the there's, there's no. You know, the original like, cops was about. It was chasing drunk white people around, yeah, like right. until it got good when the black people. Were, <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? Off subject, but not. I refuse to believe that everybody they chase gets caught. Oh, some no, black dudes so. I know are fast. Oh, they're like yeah. the cops are like huffing and puffing, and they're jumping fences. You all got caught. The one thing though is you can't outrun the radio. That's my yes. my uncle was a cop, and he's built like me. And uh, I remember when I was in high school, he was chasing a track star, and yeah. somehow he caught him. I was like, how? How? And that's what he said. He goes. Can I run the radio? No, that's what my dad says. He's, my dad says the police never run out of gas. Yeah. So no. you like it Except in the movie Need for Speed. Uh, we watched that movie. Uh, very good movie. Very actionist. And there was times in that movie where you thought he was going to get caught and he didn't. <laughs> Thank you. All right. The white man mark. Sorry. Um, uh, you know, here's the thing, Jay. It's really no... It, it, any extremist usually is somebody that, you know... You should steer clear away from. Yeah. You know, uh, people are, are are generally afraid of mis Middle Eastern people in general. 
when most of the stuff you see on the news is extremist. It's yeah, yeah. not like your day to day person, and we don't even know enough to know who's you know. All, yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, so uh, and, and, and even black people, if we had like some super extreme people, you know, I'd be like, that's a little, little much. It doesn't really bother me because it's not. I mean, white people have been marching for a long time. The Klan used to march right down the streets with the hoods on their heads. So, um, you know. Have, have you gone? I actually went to the website because I'm like, okay, what are they, what is this they're trying to say? And it, yeah, it's, uh, I haven't. That I mean, is, it, that's weird, man. That's a scroll through. You see that on Twitter, yeah, Facebook, yeah. Instagram, you're like, they already had a million men my white march. It's when Moses led him to the Red Sea. <laughs> That would have been. That probably would have hit if you didn't stutter through it. <laughs> I didn't look this. Uh, all right, found off. That story. You found, you found off a of homework. Yeah. You were almost there. All right. Okay. So you know there was that controversy with uh, I believe it was Cheerios, um, mm -hmm. the commercial showing the interracial family, and people were up in arms about that. How do you feel about people being upset for the fact that they're showing an interracial family? Here's the thing that's interesting about that. Did you hear the radio? The, there's a lady who called in a D.L. Hughley's radio show about that commercial, and she said, I'm from the Concerned Serial Eaters of America. We don't concern what? Concern. You should look it up. Concerned concern. Serial Eaters? No, no, don't, don't look that up. But look up the video. So she said, I'm part of the Concerned Serial Eaters of America. <laughs> uh, what? Hilarious. Now here's oh. the thing that I that I don't like um, about the Cheerios commercial. Um, people, when you have a mixed thing, the negativity is always associated with being black. It's the we don't need that. You know, our people being with them. It's not we don't need mixed people. It's we don't need to be associated with them. Like the black guys with the white woman too. Like at least say we. It's but it's never like. That it's, it's, looking at the, that it's, it's always the black, a black person you know, makes the white, it yeah. the thing. Now here's the interesting thing that I there was a, a YouTube video where they showed kids that and kids were oh, like, yeah. you saw that? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, what are you they're like, what the heck is going on? My son schooled in Washington. I'm not even joking. Probably 80 percent of the kids in there were mixed hmm. of some race, some black and white, some black and Asian, some white and Asian. You know what I mean? So um, I what? think as our society ages, those idiots will pass off and our kids won't you know and that same thing goes for homosexuality you have people who are very upset yeah. and kids you the way it's taught in american society you can't be overtly vocally against homosexuality yeah. christian or not yeah, yeah. you'll get in way more trouble for saying anything negative so you're going to be taught to be calm so you're yeah. going to have less and less people who are going to speak out against anything because you can't really be politically against anything so uh, to answer your question i think um, there is one thing that people uh you can be politically uh against this is christianity like i think christians nowadays get ragged on more than homosexuals do you know i totally I mean? agree it's like tim tebow for whatever reason mm. he anything he says you know it's like you christian you're bashing your basher yeah. and he's not even really a bashing person yeah you know what i mean so you're you're, you're better off being pro-gay right now than you are being <laughs> pro-christ that's uh did, did, did cheerios address that or did they ever respond or did they were asked to take the only thing they really did was they took the comments off of their youtube section and they were just like look guys this commercial is representative of america yeah so we're not gonna not show these people because this is a huge piece of american society and they need to buy our cereal and, <laughs> and they came out with another video after that yeah they did. they're like and we don't care what you say here's another good video. you know what? good that's great yeah. i was gonna say i i wish i i didn't know if they had responded or not but I, like in that scenario if i was the cheerios guy and they're like well people are complaining what do you want to say i'm like nothing yeah. i'm not gonna say nothing we're gonna that's, with another one yeah that's this is this is what it is it, there sh it shouldn't it doesn't deserve for me to respond because right. this is america like you said but all right oh it's my question uh Okay, uh, baseball caps. Why the tag? Oh my god. Why the sticker? Okay, here's the thing about <laughs> black people. <laughs> we not only need to have the newest and hottest, we need you to also no. know that it's the newest and hottest. If it has a tag, baby, you know it's fresh. <laughs> you know I just got it. Now, it doesn't matter yeah, that they underneath like, that tag. New Orleans Hornets hat. They're not even... <laughs> but it's clean, though. <laughs> but you got them J's, though. Yeah. It, the sweat is dirty. Up. Like, yeah, this oh, part dude. is well worn. The sticker is lost. It's fade. It's just white. Same thing. Yeah, you're like, dude, it still has the, the security <laughs> thing on it. But it's clean, though. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Same thing with designer purses that are knockoffs. Like, people buy their purses off the corner of 
New York, you know, street in New York, or they have parties where they sell knockoffs. Everybody knows that it's a knockoff. Oh, yeah. Like Louis Vuitton didn't make that that color <laughs> bag. The letters are upside down, yeah. Yeah. but it's clean though. No. Yeah. Like, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. Louis Vuitton. The, the appearance of money to black people is often more important than actually having money. And do you think, uh, digging into that, why do you think that is? Do you think it's uh, because of like the culture coming from when, like when black people were slaves that they had nothing to now it's almost like uh, it's a show that, uh, you know, starting from the bottom now we're here. You know, <laughs> outcast, it was outcast. Uh, so I, fresh and so clean. I, 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 I think, um, I don't know, I think it could be media it could be that, but see, when people first came in slavery, out of slavery and they had something, they were proud of owning land. All they really wanted was uh, their own land to work. You know what I mean? Acres and That's all we wanted, man. But now, I think, you know, we, we've gotten lost. And here's the thing, and this is going to really blow your mind, I think, because it blew my mind. If you don't have a history of generational wealth, then you don't know how to be wealthy. Yeah. And the people you are associated with being wealthy, who do we see that's wealthy? Athletes, rappers. What do they do with their money? blow it yeah. and they're back to working if you're a white person or a jewish person if money's been in your family for years you're not so apt to to ball because you right. know your uncle's rich and he has a huge house but he drives a used station wagon that's more common than having a bentley same thing my neighbor across here and you can see my house is you know it's a nice house oh, it's, i love his house but we're not balling no but it's, it's dude yeah. across the street white dude has a bentley what are you doing? Yeah, you didn't see that Bentley right there? There's a Bentley across the right street. Across the street. This oh, isn't wow. Bentley neighborhood. This yeah. is like... Yeah, when I saw a Bentley, I'm like, that's a weird place. Just a <laughs> cage. A cage. This, is, this is a Toyota Camry neighborhood. A Civic, maybe an Accord. You know, a Nissan Altima neighborhood. That's crazy. So I think, um, I, you know, in black like people, just, we, don't, we don't have a history of wealth as much as other cultures do. So we don't really know how to be rich. And the people we associate with spin like crazy. That's interesting. Yeah. You got anything else, Lucas? No, but I think that's good. <laughs> all right. You guys, thank you all for watching the video. Ask a Black Guy. I'm Lucas Seeley. Is my man here, Kevin Fredericks, <laughs> at Kev on stage? <laughs> I can't say R's. It's really hard. <laughs> Kevin e, said to like, it's a hard. <laughs> Very hard for me. <sighs> I can't say uh, fru fruition. <laughs> I can't. What? You can't say what? F fruition? <laughs> Fruish to fruition. Oh, Fru you know, like when something's gonna grow, it's gonna fruish, fruition. I can't pronounce it for Don't some reason. Don't embarrass him, Jay. That's hilarious. And this is Big Irish Jay. Big Irish jerk. Uh, make sure you check the comment box down below for videos of Ask a White Guy dating series and also Ask an Asian and Ask a Ask a Jew right down here. Jew, we had a Jew. <laughs> Thank you guys. Like it was a puppy. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, if you guys enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Yes. See you next week.